What's going on, friends? We're back with another terrible Sunday Advance Met kind of try. This 20 rep, 10 rep, down by two and one reps per round. If you're doing the math at home, that's 10 total rounds here. Weight loading this according to your ability level and what you have. If you only got one set of dumbbells, you know, slow the tempo down or speed it up as you need to, but if you got multiple sets, this is a great place to use them. We're gonna start off and we're gonna do everything on the top block before the lower block. So we'll do all the upper body patterns before we do any of the lower body ones. You're gonna start off with the dumbbell floor press. Again, normal kind of bench press style if you guys want to. We can go out here or we can pack it tight to the elbows and make it more tricep heavy. So again, 20 reps to start. Obviously it's a lot, so as this goes, you guys can make the load heavier or lighter. But again, it's just a normal full press. Let it sit there for a one second count and then right back up. So again, I can go pack tight. I can go wider. I can mix and match. You guys have 20 reps to begin. Once that's done, we're going to go with the dumbbell bent rows. We've been through before that normal kind of hip hinge pattern. Come down to the short stop stance. The back is flat. Just squeezing the shoulder blades down and back for all 20 repetitions. And then last but not least, just that vertical overhead press. Dumbbells, just tap the shoulders, full press overhead, full range of motion for all 20 reps. That's one round. The next time you guys come through, all the upper body stuff goes to 18, 16, 14, 12, 10, eventually hitting zero, resting as you need to. And then we'll move on to the lower body block, which is the deads, the squats, and the reverse lunges. So again, just the normal dumbbell deads. If you guys wanna let these track on the side of your body, I'm totally cool with that. You can also pack them tight in front. Either way, we're just hinging at the hips, keeping the neutral spine. For a lot of you, keep everything packed nice and close. For, for most people, just an inch below the knees is gonna be fine. So again, I'm just driving the button hips back, keeping everything neutral, packing the chin tight. If you do have the full range of motion, you guys obviously can play with it, but for a lot of people, even just an inch above or below the knee uh, is gonna be fine. From there, the dumbbell squats. You guys can goblet squat this. You can rack squat it. Again, the normal, just brace it tight. Full range of motion for all, obviously, 10 reps. And then the reverse lunges, we're going 10 per leg. That's where this gets a little spicy. So I'm gonna step back on the right for one. I plant, I step back on the left for one. One, one, two, two, until eventually we get to 10 on each leg. Then those will all go down to nine reps, then eight, seven, six, until eventually we hit zero. This is a lot of volume. This is very taxing and very challenging. So again, pace yourself, tag me, tag a buddy, and have fun.